Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome to Oryx Consulting. I'm Christopher James. Today we're doing something a little bit different for our Oryx Talks. We're here at MHJ Heavy Equipment Trading in Dubai and we're going to inspect one of their 988H wheel loaders. So we want to bring you along for our little journey and show you what we look for when we're inspecting a piece of equipment like this 988H. Anyway, hope you enjoy and hope it brings some value to your world. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So come along and we'll show you what we're looking for. One of the first things that I like to do is have a really good overall view of the machine. I want to take in how this machine's been looked after and what kind of condition uh, it's been operated in, what kind of uh, operations it's been working in and things like that. Sometimes machines are working in some very, very uh, harsh environments, but they're really well maintained. So it's a good overall look of the machine and that will give me a little bit of intel to what I really need to take some good, uh, some further looks inside at. Buckets, okay, obviously this bucket here has been working in some, uh, some heavy rock applications, all right? We need to check, obviously, the GET, the ground engaging tools. We wanna make sure that they're in a serviceable condition and also, too, that there's no, uh, there's no big chunks out of the bucket. It's not war thin in areas and things like that just an overall general condition whether this bucket is still in a serviceable state. We can see here, right down in here, that some of the skin, the inner skin, is starting to lift on this. That's not a big drama, That's, that could be as easy as re-gouging that out and then getting some uh, weld back on there to stop it going any further than what it already has. The rest of the bucket up the top here, it looks straight, it looks in reasonable condition. There does not look like anything that's out of the ordinary with this bucket. We've still got some good Caterpillar GET on here and some ESCO as well. All good brands, so we know that the bucket's been uh, looked after. Uh, we know that it's had a pretty good operator up there. There's no great bends or twists or big dents and things like that that we do see with some of these buckets uh, on these larger mining applications. The other thing that I'm looking for when I'm taking my outside peripheral view of it I'm looking for the tyres also. I want to see that they're matched tyres. I want to see that they're the same brand, and I also love to see when they are a good quality tyre. So, sometimes you will see terrible quality tyres on these machines, and that will also tell me, uh, it will tend to give me a little bit more intel into how the machine was looked after, okay? So this particular machine is running Bridgestone tyres, good quality tyres, and they're all Bridgestone. There isn't one Chinese brand in Bridgestone like this. They are all worn relatively the same, so I know that this has been the tyres on this machine during its serviceable life. We also, once we're looking at all of our loader frame hitch here, one of the things that we want to see is that all the greasy points are greased, okay? This obviously is running a uh, auto grease system, so we want to make sure that all of these points have grease coming to them, okay? Check also all of the lines. Make sure that there's no leaks in any of the uh, any of the joints there anywhere. And make sure that they haven't been hit by rocks. You can see over here on this one, over here, that the end has been hit by a rock. So we're gonna have to make sure that that particular area there is still getting grease, okay? While we're looking under the front here, we wanna see our lift cylinders and our tilt cylinder. We wanna make sure there's no leaks on them, they look in good condition. There's none of the hoses rubbing anywhere. Checking our front differential as well, that they haven't taken any great hits onto the bottom of them, uh, especially with machines like this that have been working in a rock environment. Right in here is a good indication of how the operator has operated this machine. This is one of the bump stops. Now you can see with this there hasn't been, yes it's been hitting, but it isn't worn to the extreme that it's been thumping all day, every day. This is in good condition. 
Okay, so what we're also looking at when we're walking around, checking our tyres, we want to make sure that all of the studs and all of the bolts holding the wheel on are all intact. We're also looking that there's no damage around to any of the locking rings or any of the outside of the rim. No big cuts or scuffs to any of the outside of the tyres or anywhere else on the tyres for that matter. So we'll take a good look around. You can see that there is some scuffs here but it's nothing too out of the ordinary for the type of work that this machine has been doing. We can also see that they're all cat bolts all the way around so we know that there isn't anything shifty or shady that's been done to the wheel. Very, very important. Following here, we want to, this is one of our big items to check, it's in our hitch area. We want to make sure that there's no wear here or if there is, we're at least we're aware of it and we're aware of what the maintenance is going to be moving forward if we were to purchase this machine. So with this here, we're also checking all of the valve blocks, all of the plumbing, make sure that there's no leaks or anything like that, okay? We can see up here that there's been some welding repairs onto this mudguard. This is not out of the ordinary. This is quite typical with these types of machines. We can see that it's been repaired. It's been covered up with some paint. Nothing too drastic here by any means. It is something that happens with this type of machinery. The other thing that we're checking while we're in here is our steering cylinder. We want to make sure, again, there's no leaks on it, there's no tweaks, and everything's free and clear from debris. check that the park brake is fully operational okay I know in some parts of the world this would not be allowed but over here it's quite all right so we want to check our belly pan under here there's been some little dents but not too bad now when we have a look at our rear differential we will see a weep coming out of the um, coming out of the front end of the input shaft there so this is going to be something that needs to be addressed at a later point.
our tyres, we want to make sure that everything's A-OK -okay with the tyres, the bolts and everything to do with the rim and the lock-in. Checking our tyre once again for any big nicks or scratches or cuts. Nothing out of the oil. Also checking the underside of the mud guard and all of the guards here. Make sure that there's no big dents or anything. scratches, a few dents and bangs, but nothing out of the ordinary for a machine with this size here. The other thing, if we look in underneath here, we'll see the tube coming down there, which is the engine blow-by. Nothing wrong with this one at all. Everything looks in order there. You'll also see here, I'm checking the wheel ends to make sure that there's no leaks. There's no oil running around on the inside of the rims and everything's in order. Again, there's the uh, blow-by tube there. Everything looks in order. Nothing out of place. The rear guard all looks good. Now we're at the back of the machine. We want to check that there's no big dents, bangs, crashes or anything like that. Everything looks good. All the lights are in order. We can feel the fan. It's quite nice on this hot day to get this in the face, let me tell you. It's about uh, just into the, just broken into the 40s here and probably around 105 Fahrenheit and broken into about probably around 50% humidity, so a bit uncomfortable today. Welcome to the Emirates. Again, I'm looking on the, all of these panels that they're straight. When I know that it's straight, I know the machine's been looked after. This particular machine's come from Australia, I know that because I know the company. So in Australia we've got a main battery isolator switch, and we've got a start isolator as well. We've also got these around the machine, which is your emergency stops. If ever you've got a machine and you see these, and I'm talking about people that aren't used to this type of equipment, and your machine won't start, check these first, okay? This is generally where everything, someone's bumped it, leaned on it, or done something silly. Again, as we walk around, we're checking our tires, making sure everything's in place, nothing out of the ordinary, same Bridgestone tires, no damage to the wheel guards. Again, we're checking our fuel tank. This one here has popped the hip, and that's gonna be something that needs to be addressed. We've also got just a little bit of corrosion to the outside. This steel is very, very thick, so it's not something that's going to be a huge issue, but it is something that needs to be addressed. The underside of the fuel tank all looks A-OK, -okay, no big problems. Again, I'll take you in and I'll show you into the uh, steering cylinders and make sure there's nothing out of the ordinary in here. Great looking machine this one. There is nothing out of the ordinary with it today. Couple of little oil leaks but nothing crazy. Again from here we're looking at our wheel cylinders to make sure or our wheel ends to make sure that there's no oil floating around the inside of the rim and we've got anything up to there. Checking our lift cylinders, our tilt cylinders, making sure that everything's in order there as well. Okay, it's going to get a bit noisy up here, so we're going to go in and we're going to open the two engine covers and we're going to have a visual. What I'm looking for up here, A, I'm looking for leaks. B, I'm looking for any chafing hoses, rubbing hoses, anything like that. Uh, leaks could be oil leaks, fuel leaks, uh, coolant leaks, anything like that. We're also looking to make sure that all the guarding is in place, all the fan guards, all the fan shrouds, everything like that. Um, we want to make sure that there's nothing out of place under there, so look, it's going to be noisy, but I'll take you up and show you. Okay, here we are at the engine.
know, I want to see all of the access points. I want to see all of the steps. I want to see that everything's, nothing's damaged. Everything's in its place and everything's functional. Very, very important for operator safety. Another good thing to check here is obviously the bonnets, the pre-cleaners and the exhaust. We want to make sure there's no damage here as well, okay? Everything's in its place and everything's functional once again. While you're here as well, it wouldn't pay to have a look at the roof. I've seen some crazy things on roofs over the years. Greasing system. Again, we're looking for all the handrails, all the steps, and make sure that everything's a okay. checking all of our glass, we're checking all the mirrors, we're making sure that everything's in place, nothing's damaged, nothing's broken, nothing's going to need some more money if we purchase this machine. Now I'm not sure with this particular model if this is standard, I don't believe so, it may well be an option, but they've also got a cab air filter external here. Um, it's a fantastic uh, system. But uh, again, it just needs checking, like everything else. That one there's got a uh, broken stud for the pre-cleaner bowl, so something that needs to be addressed. Now we're sitting.
everything on top of the transmission, our pumps and everything like that. So again, we're looking for hoses, rubbing, we're looking for chafed hoses, wiring, uh, we're looking for oil leaks, all kinds of different things. So just something to be aware of when we're in here. Again, it's going to be pretty noisy down there if it's not noisy already. necessarily needs it but it's certainly going to add a lot of value to your machine if you should have it or if you thought that you were going to pay X amount for a machine and then have to put it on later it's already there emergency stop making sure that that's all in place all of our dash is legible now one of the things with earth moving equipment that always tends to happen with older machines is they get dust in behind the dashes. Now this comes from all kinds of different areas, grommets, wiring that's been butchered over the years, all kinds of different uh, ways that this can happen. But all of this is clear, it's all legible. We check our hour meter reading, 13,000 hours. Look, this hasn't, uh, this hasn't done much work for this type of loader, okay? Um, we're checking again any of the controls, making sure that everything's there and it works. We checked our park brake before. One of the things that we picked up is, is the actual park brake symbol has rubbed off. That would be something that I would be replacing uh, as a matter of urgency before anything else happened to this machine. Want to make sure things like our throttles are working. There's no lights or indicators on, there's no alarms going off, all these kinds of things. Open up all the vents, make sure all the vents are getting air to them. This is something, especially in a hot environment, you want to make sure is, is paramount that it's working for your operator's comfort. Interior lights, hood lining, things like this. This is all ergonomics and um, Interior lighting is one of those things that we never really think of when we're inspecting machines, but for the poor old operator when he needs it and it's not working, it's the biggest pain in the backside you've ever seen. Making sure all of our sun visors are working properly. Missing a knob up here, nothing special. It has got a radio, it's an aftermarket radio in here, which isn't a bad thing. I'm not a big fan of the genuine Caterpillar ones. We know our air conditioning is working, but again, you might need to, it might be heating in your particular part of the world that is paramount for you. So whatever your application, it's just imperative that, that everything is working. You don't know when you're going to need it, so it always pays to check it out. I'm not gonna check out the heating system for over here because it's just not warranted and chances are the taps are probably turned off anyway. The other thing that we're checking here is our seat belt got some little fray marks on the edges which isn't out of place. A nice good solid crack and everything's working. Release is easy. It's good. Canvas seat covers on these, one of the best inventions out I believe. Coming down behind this cabin, this, this seat I should say, and we've got our cab filter in here from that one outside. Okay, so this one could do with a replacement. She's had it's had its day. 
Over here we're checking our, um, our auto loop system and this one has a fault light up so something that needs to be, uh, needs to be addressed. There won't be anything drastic, I've never seen anything too bad over here. We've got some, uh, some pitting here, someone would have had something hanging from here, I'd say a hard hat or something like that over the, over the time, and that's rubbing through the window tinting. So this has come from a hot climate. I know these, uh, these guys that, um, that used to own this machine, we, used to, uh, we have done a lot of work for them over the years. So I know how they set their machinery up. It's always set up Mickey Mouse and it's got every little bell and whistle on it that the operators could possibly want. We want to make sure that all of our, everything that's meant to work is working, okay? Now that has got a knock there. If that was me operating that, I would be doing my mind in before the, probably an hour. That'd be something that I would address and fix myself. That's all working. I've already checked the safety, it's working. Which I won't bore you with all of that. That's the, the overall view of what I'm looking at. And what I'm trying to portray here is not the not the, the real fine detail that I go into when we're looking at machinery. I'm trying to give you a good overall view that if this isn't something that you normally do, at least you've got a starting point. I've been inspecting machines for I was doing it during my apprenticeship, so 30 years I've been doing this for. I know when a machine's been looked after and when it hasn't been. When I see panels dented, bang, scratch, lights missing, um, I've seen it being backed into things. I see buckets that are basically torn apart because they've had chains on them. Um, I see weeps and leaks. I see non-genuine filters. I see non-genuine aftermarket pumps and cylinders and things like that. I know that I'm not buying a good machine. I just know that. I've been doing this long enough to understand all of this. You're always going to have maintenance with machinery. That, that goes without saying. It's about how much maintenance, how much money you're going to have to put into something if you're buying it. So that's something to really take into consideration. When I inspect machinery, I'm taking around 200 to 300 photos of a piece of plan. If you employ our services to come and have a look at something for you, you, I want you to see what I see. I want you to understand every photo matches up and the reason why I've taken photos of everything. It's, I want it to be that you're almost here with us. Nowadays we do a lot of video recording of machines, so, so the customers can really take a look through with us and see what we're seeing. I just want to give you the broad spectrum of what I'm looking at and how I can tell whether a machine's in good nick or not. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to get Lindsay up here and I'm going to give her a crash course on how to operate this while I take you back down and we're going to check the hitch and we're going to check all of the pins and bushes for the bucket. We just want to check it for wear and make sure that there's, there's nothing over the top. Okay guys, we're back down here. We've got Lindsay up in the cab. And we're going to start checking a few things. So what we're going to do first, we want to check all the pins and bushes around the front.
check that hedge. Now it seems to be from when I was operating it earlier, there's a bit of movement in here, so I want to show you that. see there there's a lot of excess movement in there we don't know what the specifications are but we do know that that's excessive movement so that's something that will need to be addressed for any of the new purchases now what we're going to do we're going to put it into gear we're going to take it out of gear what I'm looking for here is any play or movement in any of the universals So that's running through the cycle test. The other thing that I should have mentioned earlier that we're looking for on all of the boom structure is we're looking for cracks. We're looking for anywhere that there might be a weak point, anywhere that needs to be addressed. Uh, I haven't seen any in my life on a 988 uh, or this particular model, but I'm sure there's some, a lot of people that have. But uh, any of the ones that I've inspected, I've not come across any yet.
Okay guys, I hope that was really, really helpful for you and at least gives you a starting point of what to look for when you're looking at, in this case, a wheel loader. Um, we've done some other things here that, uh, that we don't want to bore you with. We've run through the transmissions. We want to make sure that all the clutch packs are engaging. Uh, there's nothing untoward, there's no uh, uh, alarms or lights or bells or whistles. We've taken for a little bit of a drive forward and back and all those usual things that you would do inspecting any kind of plant, whether it be a piece of earth moving gear, transport equipment, a vehicle, it doesn't matter. You're always going to put it through its paces. But one thing that I will say when you are taking things for a test drive, is test everything out. You don't have to flog a piece of equipment to know whether it's in good working order or not. Just to make sure that you can, uh, that everything is working, everything is in an operational condition, okay? So, so one of the things that you also want to check, like with vehicles, is turn them to a full lock and another full lock. We did this with this machine. Make sure that there's nothing, uh, nothing crazy, no bangs, no bumps, not anything that's out of the order. Okay, this is what we're looking for. We've been through every gear, now we haven't run flat out because we can't do it where we are here, but it's something that we need to make sure of. So what did we find with this machine? Apart from a couple of hoses that are rubbing and, and, and small dings that, uh, like in the fuel tank and, and things like that, two items that need to be addressed immediately. The diesel leak on the engine, now that there is, uh, is, is a safety issue, and also the hitch. The hitch on this, in my opinion, is flogged and needs to be repaired. So um, that's something that needs to be done with this machine before I would put it into service. There's the leak on the output shaft of the uh, transmission heading rearwards to the rear differential, which has a leak on the input shaft. So maybe some bearings there and seals. Uh, generally, it's not just a seal. Generally, it's a bearing that's worn out, uh, and that obviously gives extra wear to the seal. Everything else, apart from some guards around the, uh, the radiator shroud and things like that that need to be, there's a couple of loose ones there, but there's no bad oil leaks, everything looks to be maintained, everything looks in a serviceable condition. Apart from those couple of uh, what I would call major items, and I don't mean major as they're huge works, but major in the fact that they need to be addressed before I would put this machine to work. Apart from that, I like this machine. Would I buy it? Would I recommend it to my customers? Absolutely, 100%. I would let them know what needs to be repaired, but uh, that goes without saying. So once again, guys, I really hope this has added some value to your world and, uh, and you've taken something away from it or learned something. By all means, add some comments if you like. Tell me some of the things that you like to inspect. Tell me the equipment that you operate. Tell me the things that you find with a particular machine that might be an issue, whatever that case may be. Once again, thanks for watching, guys.